All right, how to cut a pineapple. We're gonna show you how to do this nice, short, and sweet. It's very simple to do. You have two weapons of choice. You have the hardy slicer, big serrated knife, or you have the petite carver, a nice six, seven inch serrated. So <clears throat> what's nice is any of the DD edges just cut right through like butter. And what's great about having a nice cut go DD edge is very, very little resistance. So there's a couple ways you can do it. If you want to do a little bit more of a presentation, you can actually go on the inside here with your petite carver and go all the way around. It takes a little bit of practice because you obviously don't want to have a petite finger cut with your pineapple. But what's nice about this is you can take a nice little tea light candle and have a nice little pineapple display or you can just cut it up like a normal person would so you go back on the other side make sure you go all the way through Obviously doing this with a dull knife <clears throat> would not be super smart and effective. But let's see if we can push this out. So we made a hole. So if you actually go to the grocery store and you see these little pineapple, what I call cylinders, you end up paying a lot of money for just what they call is the cut service. So I probably should have used a turning fork there, but there you have a little quick, little Cutco pineapple cylinder. Hi, Hockey. <clears throat> so the other one you can use is the Hardy Slicer because you got the nice thickness, you have the weight, and you have the power. And anything with the DD edge, even a trimmer will work. You can use a smooth edge, but I will say a smooth edge doesn't get you that grip that you need. And there's the inside. So if you're gonna do that little pineapple display, you get a couple toothpicks. Just like that. And then you would put this on a little platter and then you would put a little tea light candle inside of it. And then your house will smell like fresh pineapple. And then you could put this on a nice little summer barbecue display. And then going back to your other sections here, you can just knock those out. Boom, boom, boom. Throw them in a little bowl. And now you got your pineapple ready to go. So hopefully that helps. Once again, it's always cheaper and smarter to buy Cutco and cut up your own little fruit, vegetables, meats, because when you process it yourself, it's always gonna save you a lot of money in the end.